dude. Yo, what's poppin' boys and girls, ladies and gents, welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button on today's video if you guys have been enjoying the content. Today we're gonna be kayak fishing, it's been a long time since we've gone kayak fishing, so I got me, Alan, Bob, and Cody, and we're like, you know what, let's go out on the kayak today and also fish a new spot that we'd never gone to before, so I'm really excited about that. Let me show you guys the pond. So as you guys can tell, you know, we have the pond right here. It's a beautiful little place. It's actually long, not too narrow. It's got a lot of cover up on the bank. It's got a lot of trees um, down on the lake. It actually has a lot of lay downs. Also has a lot of grass here on the other side of the bank. We have a good bit of wind today, but I think it's gonna be okay. And uh, we're just gonna go out there and, and search for these fish. I've already seen a lot of fish busting the water out there in the middle, so we might get on a really good bite. I just hate that it's a little windy because that can be irritating when you're kayak fishing. But we're gonna live with it and uh, see what we can do. But let's go see the boys over here. Hey, Bob. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? How you doing? What's good? What's about, to go, about to go let's kayak fishing today? Well, yeah. It's been a minute, hasn't Dude, it? It's been so long since we've been on the kayaks. Feels so good out today, and uh, honestly, I'm just ready to catch him, bro. I think we're really. gonna do it. So we got old Bob's kayak over here, you know, old tan, bona fide. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Got mine right here, old gray bona fide, and then we got Cody's over here, which is actually Delton's, and uh, just a little sin kayak. And the problem that we have is <laughs> we forgot the seat. So like, you know, we have this kayak trailer over here. And you know, we can load four kayaks on it. We can load one right here, one right there, one right there, one right there. But the problem is to get that thing in my garage, we have to take the seat off and we totally forgot it. So Cody, you're gonna be, Yeah. we didn't really I just, go I, through. I, I don't really ask for a lot, man. A seat <laughs> maybe every now and then, a water. Then. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Just don't fall in. And so I got my rods in here today, I actually, I'm bringing out four. I'm bringing out a custom pro on a Mach 2. Two custom pros on a Mach 2. I have a Mach 2 right here. That's my frog rod. And then I also have a Mach Smash. That's for like crankbaits, jerkbaits, stuff like that. And so that's pretty much what we're bringing. I also have some tackle that I'll load it up in here. So we have everything that we need. And I, hopefully we'll get on a topwater bite today. That's what I'm hoping. Maybe we can get on a frog bite and see what we can put together. Still you good. Use the sides to balance. Yeah. You probably sit down for for right now. Should have my seat. <laughs> Just push off with your paddle. Don't... I want to see how steady it is. It's oh okay. yeah. It's not bad, is it? No. Still... You're gonna be good though. Yeah. All right. Once I'm out here. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I'm gonna start off over here. It's like a little side. I think like right here would be good. Well, we just made it to our first little spot, first little stop. And like I said, I've never been out here. So I'm just kind of trying to break down this place and uh, get a good head start here. See if we can start off with a fish right away. I just saw a boil up there. This place looks good, man. It looks really good. The conditions are actually honestly awesome. It's just hard with the wind when you're in a kayak. And I'm gonna actually start off with a frog today. I would love to get on a frog bite on the yak. It's gonna be hard. It'll be one of the hardest baits to fish on a yak, but. I really think I can get him to eat a frog. Destroyed up in that tree. Perfect cast. 
Oh yeah, that's a good fish. First frogfish. He's barely hooked. He's freaking mean. <laughs> yes. That was a perfect cast. Yeah, that's a good one, man. It's like a two, two number. He's so he's fighting so hard. Oh yeah. Nice fish right there. Pretty bass right there on the frog. We got that started pretty quick. That was a perfect skip on that tree. Perfect skip back in it. And she was right where she should have been. Wow, that's a lot of fun. Well, there we go, guys. First fish today. Beautiful bass, about a two pounder on a frog. You gotta love it. Kayak fishing frogs today. That's what I want to catch them on. Thank you, baby. <laughs> yes. Let's go. That's what we're here for. Well guys, that is our first fish. I've only been fishing for about 10 minutes. Had one blow up on a frog, which is an awesome sign. I, I love catching them on a frog. Yeah. So I think we might get on a good bite today. We're just gonna keep on moving around. I'm gonna reposition the kayak over here by some of these trees and try to skip it up way further, far up in those lay downs and see if we can get a big one to come out. We told him, Taddy, come back if there's a sign. That's what that double kick y'all come do. They said no other at me. Okay. So just park it behind the... Take it out and put it around. Are we allowed to bring it back to take the boats out? Yeah, uh, it's so close. But it all depends if we lock that gate. And I'll actually come over and move that machine and lock that gate. So somebody might not even come back in here. So I, when you take it out, you'll see where the, the opening is at. And it's not far from probably where you can get in at. But if I got one of my guys over here, it might be nice to let you in, but I'll be leaving after we move this equipment and I'll be locking that gate behind us. Awesome. Yeah, we'll move it for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm okay. And I'll tell you, it's just that fence that goes along. I'm going to put another cut in there, but they hadn't put it in yet to get to it. And they just hadn't put it a lot back in. So guys, somebody just came over and, and they said that, he said we're perfectly fine with fishing here, which we already knew, but he's like, we just can't park the car where we parked it. So Alan Bob just went back and he's moving his truck, but we got that taken care of right off the bat. I'd rather it be right when we weren't far from where we put in than when we go all the way across the lake and then have somebody trying to tell us to move our car. So Bob's handling that now, but I'm going to keep on casting this frog and, and see if we can get on something good today, man. I have high hopes. Guys, this frog looks so good where we're throwing it. And I think we can smoke them on it. It's just, it's gonna be time consuming because this kayak rotating, getting the right cast. I know we can catch them on it today, that's the thing. I know I could kill them on a fluke up on these trees, but I just would love to get on a kayak frog bite. I've only done it like probably two times. So it's like, you know what? It's about that time for us to get a get on a good frog bite on the yakker. And we caught one on it instantly, so it's like, it's possible. I just think if if we have a chance to catch a big one, I think it'd be on a frog. Guys, these casts that I'm getting, I know it's probably hard to tell on the GoPro, but they couldn't they couldn't be better. <laughs> if there's a big one up there, he should get mad at this frog and eat it. There's a huge carp right. It's like white. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you guys see that? He almost ate my frog. I've never seen a carp just go after something like that. He like actually was putting his nose. <laughs> Imagine if that big thing would have just <laughs> demolished the frog. That, that would have been insane. Dude, it's a good one. Oh my God, it's better than I thought. That's a good one. Please don't come off. Mm. Let's go. He was a dangler. 
freaking good one. That's what we're talking about. Look at that one. Almost a three pound. That's a high two number right there. Freaking good one, man. Pancake. <laughs> it's been a long little wait for the second bite, but man, that's worth it right there. Almost a three pounder on a dangle. Skipped it up under that branch and had it dangling and he came up and destroyed it. Thank you, buddy, for biting. Get him back in the water. Thank you, bud. You're an aggressive guy. Yeah. Oh, man, guys, that's so much fun. You could not beat skipping a frog up under some lay down, especially in the kayak. Hear it blow up on the frog like that, and man, that's so much fun. Wow, guys, that was awesome. Could not beat that. Could not beat that. I know there's another one back up in here that we can catch. I was getting a little iffy. I was like, this might be a little too shallow, and you know, kept fishing it, you know, stayed true to what we were doing. I know I had to cover this, and sure enough, got a bite. It is so shallow, guys, I'm talking, Maybe about eight inches of water. Back here, it's probably about six. But those largemouth, one thing about largies is they'll get up super shallow. They don't really, they don't really care. They'll be, you can catch largies as shallow as you can find them. I mean, I know there has to be one in this corner. Might not be two, but there might be just one guy sitting back here. It looks so good. There we go. He choked it, guys. He choked it. He's not as big as that last one. He looked big. He was jumping. Mm-hmm. Look at how he ate that thing. Look at that. Mm. That's a lot of fun, boys. Man, that is fun. <laughs> that is a fat dude. He looks pre-spawn. I swear these fish were post-spawn, but I don't know. That fish is looking really fat. So third one today on the frog. Demolished it over here by these laydowns. Just cranked it. Got a lot of wind pushing up on this bank. Normally I wouldn't want to fish a frog in wind, but they're getting a little aggressive on it. So gotta love it. Pretty fish. Let's get them back in the water. Thank you, baby. Here are our third one today. He's gonna look at me. There he goes. <laughs> nice. That, is, that was sweet. That was a good bite. So to pretty much tell you guys how I'm catching them, you know, I go up on some of these banks and there's not any wind pushing up on it. You know, you're in a bunch of calm water. I've been working this frog a little bit slower and uh, just kind of popping it. All right. When I get up on these banks where there's some wind pushing in, I've been walking this frog really fast and just getting it to go over those laydowns and getting a bass to really react to it. So that's kind of how I'm working it. Windy banks, working it a lot faster, a little more aggressive, walking it from side to side. And uh, on those banks that are a little more calm and collected, you know, I'm working it a little bit slower. So that's kind of what I'm doing. It, seeming to work, it seems to work out. So we've caught three on it so far. Only been out here for about an hour. It's a good sign. Guys, we're out here in the middle. I don't have a depth finder or anything, but I want to throw this jerk bait. There's a big boil right in front of me because I think these bass are roaming. I think there's a bunch of fish out here that can be caught and they could be big. So I'm just gonna kind of let the wind coast my kayak out here and I'm just on a fan cast. I've seen a bunch of bait pop. I don't know how this lake lays out. I don't know if it's a big drop off or a flat or whatever it is out here in the middle. I don't even know how deep we are, but I'm just gonna play around with this jerk bait for a minute and I think we'll, I think we'll luck into one. The way that this bait's been popping, this fish are roaming, clouds up, wind blowing. Yeah. Bob's got one. Three. Right at three pounds? 295. Yeah, pretty close, right? That's a good fish. First fish of the That's day That's a good one. Me. Let's go, I had to switch it up. It's tough for me, I don't know why. I was throwing that green, uh, green pumpkin crawl. Switch up to black and red flake. I think second cast, he ate it. I never feel a thump it. Just my line started to move. I was like, I think I got him. Nice. Man, good fish. Let's get a release on him.
There she That's goes. Let's get it. Where do you want to take out at? Take out right there. All right, so we're gonna get it started today. And as you guys know, when I start fishing, I wanna use a bait that I can cover water with. I don't, I've never been to this place. I know nothing about it. Um, I don't even know if the fish are gonna be active today. The pressure's really high, bluebird skies. They're probably not gonna be roaming a ton, but I still think we can get a few solid bites on this Thunder Cricket by Strike King. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with this bait, a moving bait. We're gonna toss it around and just cover a lot of water. I did just re-spool this here. Yeah, we need to tighten the drag. Brand new line on this donkey right here, so we shouldn't have any troubles with line today. And now we're just going to start fan casting. See if we can get something to trigger off on this thunder cricket early this morning. And, uh, you know, we'll switch up to that crawl, kind of throw it around a little bit if we see any good cover, any spots that just look really juicy. But um, we're going to start off with this, just cover a bunch of water and see if we can get a really big fish today. No way. Little tiny guy. But this is a great talking point and it's the first fish today we don't care about the size all right so this is what we just did you know we started off with that chatterbait so i'm going to cover some water throw it around i'm just excited to get a first fish in the boat got the monkey off her back already so i threw around that moving bait for a little bit didn't have anything bite it and it seems to have like a little drain right here pumping out water and so i knew there would be fish in the area just picked up this texas rig with a rage crawl on it you know we've had a lot of luck with this recently even caught our kayak PB in the last week. Threw it up there first cast and literally had him eat it. So that's a good little sign right there. We're gonna make a couple more casts just to see if there's more fish up there with them. Cause where there's one fish, there could be two. But that's just a learning lesson right there. You know, throwing that moving bait, we didn't have anything grab it. And then we just slowed down for a minute. Boom, got a bite. So we'll keep that in mind today. Oh yeah. Nah. That's still on. <laughs> I thought he spit it. I'm about to say there should have been a fish there. Just I didn't think it would be that size. A little half pounder. I'm about to say, you know, this goes in with all that grass and it had this little stump. I'm about to say there's one on it. Two on it. I was just about, I, what I was getting to with that is there's probably more than one. <laughs> you bit it. Another little squeak, squeak, McGee. Yeah, I've, I've tried them, but most of the time we're just throwing natural. See, this is a good, God, dog. Well, they're biting. We found the squeakers. We got to start somewhere. We Ooh, look at him pissing. I did not want to push up in here. We found the small ones, but there has to be some big ones in the area. The small ones are biting, which is a great sign, because like I said, the pressure is so high. The fact that we just caught three fish in five minutes is a good sign. We know there's fish in the area, because I caught that first one, then it went cold on me for like 30 minutes. Now we're finally finding some fish. In this little area that looks like a freaking bed right there that could be a bed i was about to say this is a perfect little spawning area oh, 
that's a better one. Oh, no, it's not. It felt like a better one. The way he ate it, too, he ate it like a big one. It's like he didn't even tick it. He just had it. No way. That was the next cast. Oh, yeah, that's a better one. Biggest fish today. This is actually a decent one. That was literally next cast. This one's breaking over for about a pound. <laughs> a lot of the other ones are about half a pound. It got us a little pounder. Still not what we want, but to, to literally throw one in the water and throw it right back in and catch one, that's satisfying. There he is. Oh man. You got one? <laughs> nice. I got him. I think. Is that a fish? Yeah, it is. Small one on the chatterbait. That's not what I want. Come on now. That is not what I want. At least they bit this. I'll tell you, those small ones are feisty. They're not even letting the big ones have an opportunity to eat the bait. That one loaded up on it like a dang good one, though. Scared me. I think that'd be good. You can't go too high there, but it'd probably be perfect for what we're wanting. That was a cool catch. Not big, but that was a cool catch. Right there in that little tiny, you got all this grass. Right there in the middle. Cool catch. He's thick and chunky for the size of the one.